Hey there. So today I'm going to be showing you guys this look. It is super natural, super neutral, but it's kind of highlighted in places that it's really going to open your eyes, make you look really bright. And this is the look that I'm actually wearing for the day before my birthday. I'm going out for like dinner and you know, that kind of a look. It's really good for like a daytime look for your birthday or like, I mean, it's not necessarily just a birthday look. This is not how you have to wear your <laughs> makeup on your birthday, but I wanted something really eye-opening and kind of bright, you know, just to open your eyes and make you look awake. So this is a look that I came up with and I think will look really really great on anyone. So if you guys want to see how this look is done, definitely stay tuned. I've already primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion and your first shadow that you're going to need is one similar to this one. This is Omega by MAC and it is just a kind of cool really pale brown so anything like that will work and I'm just going to get that onto a 252 and I'm just going to pat that all over my lid, making sure I get good coverage with this color. This color is quite uh, light, but if you really work it, you do get a really nice color from it. And it works really nice just to kind of give some tone to your lid and also mattify it. The next color I'm going to go into is Cork by MAC. And it is just kind of a light brown, obviously. Uh, so this is Omega here, and this is Cork. So just find, you know, two lighter shades that work for your skin tone or what you have. And I'm going to take that onto a 217. And I'm just going to work that into my crease. It's really just going to define this look and give depth to your eye without having a lot of product or a lot of color. And then I'm just going to take it and swoop it upward, just turn the brush and then it'll help blend it out nicely. Next I'm just going to go into a pale color. This is blank type and I'm just going to use it on my 227 and I'm just going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes and I'm just going to be using my Urban Decay Ink for Eyes liner and this one is the black one in zero and I'm just using the brush that comes in the palette getting some product on it and then I'm just going to quickly and easily line my eyes. And I'm also going to go ahead and create a outer wing. And you can go dr as dramatic as you want on this outer wing. I'm going to go a little bit more dramatic and just kind of, once I have my mascara on, my lashes tend to kind of go in that direction. So that's the way that I'm just going to put this um, wing because it'll help elongate those outer lashes. Once your liner's on, you can go back and perfect it and I'm just going to go into a really dark gray. This is typographic by MAC and I'm going to take it onto a angled brush like the 208 and I'm just going to go along kind of the edge of where I put that liner and it'll really help smoke it out and perfect the line across. could also go ahead and use a black to do this. I just chose the gray because it'll kind of give a little bit of a gradient fade to what I'm doing. And then I'm also going to take just whatever's on that brush and just sweep it under my lower lash line only about I'd say just you know kind of like one third of the way in. So I've gone ahead and put on my mascara as you guys can see and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that angled brush, the 208, and not dipping back into any product, just whatever's uh, on there already. I'm just going to take that brush and you want to put your mascara on before you do this. I think it works best. It just gives a really kind of natural, well not natural, but it, it lets you see where your natural shadow hits. So once you have your mascara on, you're going to look where your lashes end on the bottom. Put the tip of that brush right there where your lashes end and then all I do is just kind of slightly flick it down and this is another reason that I chose to use a gray just so that it's you know not as uh, starch and dark of a line that you have going on here so you know just get a good amount there so that is basically it for the eye the only other thing I'm gonna do is because this look is very focused on the eyes I'm going to highlight a little bit kind of everywhere and I'm just gonna take my soft and gentle mineralized skin finish and just a small brush like a small shader brush like the 242 I'm gonna dip it in there and I'm gonna work it into my inner tear duct just to really get some gorgeous highlighting going on there 
I'm also going to take a little bit of that highlight and just kind of tap it in between um, you know where your wing is and where we've added that little bit of darkness just to create that shadow to make your lashes look a lot bigger and then whatever's left on that brush you don't really have to dip in I don't want too much highlight here but I'm gonna put a little bit directly under my eyebrow and that is basically it for the eyes alright so for the rest of my face I really wanted to make sure that the eyes we're definitely the standout point for this look. You know, when it's your birthday and you just want everyone looking at you, you want to make your eyes look bright, you want to look um, just awake and there and like you're having a good time. You know, no matter what age you're turning, you should look young and bright. So uh, for my cheeks, I just went ahead and I used my personal style um, beauty powder blush. And this one is clearly super neutral. You can really use whatever you want. Um, I wouldn't go too, too pink on the cheeks. You can go for something a little more nude, like gingerly or something like that. And then, uh, just like for the eyes, I also used the uh, Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish just to highlight my cheekbones slightly. And then as for my lips, I just used a very fun pink lipstick. I chose Angel just so that you have that kind of pinky glow to your lips. So this is Angel lipstick and then I just popped a little bit of clear gloss, whatever kind of clear gloss you have on top of that just so I have a bit of shine. So that is my kind of daytime or if you're just going out for dinner kind of birthday look and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all really soon. Bye!